Hey, what's going on YouTube? Back for my third um, part of my juicing journey. Um, I am making this video later in the day than I made the second part of this video that you'll watch here in a second. But I wanted to touch on a couple things that I might have missed in the earlier um, in the earlier video. In the video, um, I talk about cleaning the vegetables and fruits. And um, I also talk about the juicer that I used. And I also talk about how things are going. And first off, things are going great. Um, I'm having really no side effects or issues right now. I do feel good. I'm not craving sweets. I'm not really craving anything that um, like fast food or anything. Um, right now, maybe because I'm just taking the time to, to do this juicing and stuff, and I don't want to ruin it by eating a hamburger or something like that, but um, I feel good. I feel um, like this is, um, this, is, um, this is a good choice for me. So, so far, so good. It's only been three days, um, and I'm only juicing once a day right now, um, but I'm getting myself ready for the, for the next step, so... Um, like I said, I talk about cleaning the, the, the fruits and vegetables in there. And one thing that, that everybody seems to recommend when juicing is to use organic fruits and vegetables. And those can be a little bit more expensive than the regular ones you get. So if you can't, you know, you want to spend the money or if you can't find the fruit or vegetable that you're looking for that in organic, um, then you want to clean it really well. Um, and I t talk about that later in the video. But one thing I didn't show is um, the brush that I use. I talked about it, but the brush is like just like this. It's a little firm. You hear it there. Firm little nylon brush you can get at Walmart or whatever. Just, you know, scrub around um, your fruits and vegetables, even if the skin is on. Because once you cut into the, the orange or the, the cucumber or a lemon, something with a peel on it that you're not going to eat the peel. But once you cut into it, the pesticides can get inside of the the fruit or the vegetable. So make sure you clean all your fruits and vegetables well. With uh, and also rinse them off with warm, uh, warm water, not cold water. So that's a couple things that I've learned. Um, but you know, you'll you'll see more about that later in the video. Um, the other thing is that um, that I picked up today was this right here. It's the Juicing Bible. Um, it's by Pat Croker, Crocker, and um, second edition. I saw this on Amazon and it's got great reviews. So. Um, I'm going to try it out. haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to try it out because that way I can get some recipes going stop winging things on my own. Um, but it um, it has pretty good uh, recipes to look through it and has things that, remedies for headaches and, you know, heartburn or, you know, things like that. So, you know, we'll see how that goes and I'll let you know how, how you know, how I feel about it later. But so far, you know, what I've looked at looks pretty looks pretty good because it's hard to come up with ideas and stuff like that. The other thing that I learned that I'm going to make a video about later is... Um, what to do with the pulp. Now, I talked about in the first or second video about either giving it to um, my dog or um, using it as a compost. Those are two things you can do, but also what you can do is you can um, put it in a in a food processor with some other stuff, and I'll talk about this. I'll make a video about this, so once I do it, I can talk about it and say how it tastes. But um, anyways, then you dehydrate it and make a, um, you make uh, crackers um, or you know, some kind of flatbread out of it. So I wanna, um, I'm gonna try it out and see how that goes and that'd be great because that's one more thing you don't have to waste if you're, uh, if you're juicing. Um, anyways, so that's how things are going right now for me. They're going great. Um, and hopefully, um, you know, if you have any questions or comments about juicing or if you're thinking about juicing or anything like that, you can, um, you know, you can ask me. I'm doing a lot of research on it so um, hopefully I can pass on a lot of the information I'm getting. Um, I think that's it. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the video, and we'll see you next time, YouTube. Peace out. Okay, YouTube. I just wanted to kind of give you a quick um, um, tutorial on how I how I wash my vegetables. Um, basically, what I use is um, I use um, vinegar and water, which is two parts water, one part vinegar. Um, and I put it in a little spray bottle here. Basically, what I do is I, I spray down all my fruits and vegetables um, spray them down really good and with the fruits I spray them down even with the skin <clears throat> and then after I uh, spray the water and vinegar I spray the this is hydrogen peroxide and um, this is actually okay to spray in your vegetables and it's um, you know it's okay because you can use it for you can use it for your um, mouthwash as well but um, after you spray the vinegar and water then you spray the hydrogen peroxide all over the fruits and vegetables this will get rid of all the um, pesticides and bacteria that might be 
on the fruits and vegetables. You even want to clean the outside of your the peel when you before you peel your uh, your fruits because there's stuff on the outside when you cut into it um, it it can get onto the to the fruit. So this is also safe to um, to clean your counters. The same order you want to do the uh, vinegar and water and the hydrogen peroxide after. Um, you don't want to put them together in the same bottle, it'll cause a chemical reaction, it's not safe, but it is okay to do it separately that way. So that's how I clean my vegetables, just um, spray them down, massage them real well, um, maybe use a little brush, and, um, and, that's, and that's good to go. So making my, uh, making my juice for the third day, um, today I'm doing bro um, kale, I'm doing um, celery, this is uh, red char, um, carrots, orange, apples, cucumbers. I'm also doing some spinach um, and ginger and bananas. So that's what I'm making for today. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and make this juice and then I'll be back in here in a second. Okay? Peace out. Okay, YouTube. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about the machine I got. Um, this is the Breville um, 350 HD. And the reason why. Um, I chose this over other um, juicers is because it moves at a really slow RPMs, 80 RPMs, which is 80 revolutions per minute is the speed that it's spinning. Um, and if you've seen the movie, like Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, um, they use a Breville on there. And the thing about the Breville is it moves at um, like 10,000 RPMs, which is extremely fast. And that causes a lot of oxidation inside your, um, your fruits and vegetables. So that's one of the reasons why I chose this one. Also, um, it has a 10-year warranty, um, and I think that just in general, for me, it was just a better juicer, and it's really up to you on the type of, um, the type of use you're going to get out of it. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of the juicing. Even though I said before, if you can see, it moves really, really quietly. Um, even though it might sound loud on the video, it is very quiet if you compare and go to other YouTube videos um, to compare the two. That's kind of what I did, um, but it is pretty quiet. Um, I'm going to start with my kale. You always want to um, alternate your, your fruits and your, your vegetables, like I said in the other, other video. Um, the reason why you want to do this is because the uh, what happens is the leafy greens will get start getting stuck in there and that's with all juicers so you always want to alternate so when you put something with fiber in it like a carrot um, or an apple uh, it'll clean it out and get the stuff that's stuck in there out so you do want to alternate um, anyways I just wanted to kind of give you an update on that and just tell you about the, the juicer itself it does have a 10 year warranty like I said so um, I think I'm, you know, probably end up having it forever, and that's, I think that's the kind of the idea is just have something that you know is going to last you forever, um, and um, something that you know is going to be reliable. All right, so I'll see you in a second. I'm going to go ahead and finish making this juice. Like I said, I was just alternating, so we're gonna, I'm gonna make this juice, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done here. So, see you in a minute, YouTube. Okay, YouTube. Um, this is the final result. Made a lot of juice today. Um, used, I think I told you already, but um, used carrots, bananas, um, cucumber, celery, uh, spinach, kale, little ginger, um, red char, and lemon, orange, and apples. So that's the result for today. Um, probably going to end up having some left over that's okay you just drink later another good thing with this juicer is the the juice is actually good for 72 hours so even if we didn't finish this um, it would be good for for three days later um, so it's not that huge of a deal um, so that's it about the juicer um, like I said this is the Omega 350 um, uh, vert HD um, there's a variety of juicers out there also, they have the Vitamix, which a lot of people talk about, and they have the new NutriBlend, which is, um, they're both blenders, um, basically powerful blenders. And those are good if, um, if you don't want to waste anything, you want to take it all in, but um, you got to remember, whatever you're, you're putting in that, you're going to end up having to ingest or eat, so that's a lot. 
if I were to take all the food and blend it up, it probably would have been like twice this um, this amount, if not more. So um, so just you got to take that in mind when you're blending. Also, they're very thick, so you're like eat, uh, drinking a, um, a vegetable smoothie or something like that. So you have to take that in mind when you're when you're doing blending. But um, I think that smoothie, um, I'm sorry, the Vitamixes and 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 the Nutra Bullet are good for um, for smoothies and things like that. Like if you're doing um, strawberry banana smoothie or something like that, Th those are good for that because you usually have to add water or ice or something that to the to the stuff as well to blend it up. So you got to take that in mind. That's why I chose this is because I was getting the most nutrients um, that I could get possibly out of out of juicing as opposed to any other juicer. That's why I chose this one. So um, I think that's it for now, YouTube. I'm going to enjoy my green drink, which I is not a recipe. I just made it up. So we'll see how it is. That's how it's been going for the last three days. And I was just making things up. And every so far, so good. So um, that's it, YouTube. We'll see you next time. Peace out.